our sun near missed with a passing star. Stars jolting around the galaxy are not quite like a cosmic game of pool, but they do have occasional near misses as they speed past each other. Back when spears and stone points were the height of human technology, astronomers say our solar system had a close encounter of the interstellar kind. The brief visitor was Schultz's star, and it might have grazed the outer edges of our solar system's distant Oort cloud about 70,000 years ago, carrying its companion, a likely brown dwarf, along for a ride. Now, we do have a brown dwarf star at the edge of our solar system, according to what NASA told us a couple of years back. Okay, so this was uh, around 70,000 years ago. Schultz's star grazed the outer edges of our solar system, the distant Oort cloud. It's unclear whether the near miss was close enough to give objects in the Oort cloud, our solar system's halo of dormant comets, a gravitational nudge to fall towards the sun. But the interstellar trespasser highlights a sometime forgotten reality. On long time scales, stars seem to fly around like sparks from a campfire, occasionally coming close enough to disturb each other's cometary clouds. Such close passes could have profound implications for exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, and how they got where they are. At least some of the time, an interloper could become a thief, stripping a star of one or more planets, or vice versa, leaving something behind in our solar system. Our solar system as well might have been shaped and uh, sculpted by stellar flybys. A 2018 study showed that the orbital motions of some of our solar system's small bodies appear still to bear the imprint of Schultz's gravitational wake. At some, and some planet-like objects in the Kuiper Belt, the collection of rocky and icy bodies past the orbit of Neptune could have been stolen from another star far earlier, in fact, soon after our sun was born. Schultz's flyby could just be the latest in the series. The discovery of our star-crossed close encounter was almost as random as the event itself. It started when astronomer Eric Mamajek, deputy program scientist for NASA's Exoplanet Exploration Program, and they've already found over 4,000 uh, rogue um, free-flying planets in our galaxy, and they say that uh, there may be more, there could be more rogue planets free-flying than there are stars in our galaxy of the Milky Way. But what did uh, Eric Mamajek say? He took early excursions to Santiago, Chile, where he made observations with world-class telescopes. On one such visit in 2000, he took yearly excursions. One such visit in 2013, a fellow astronomer, Valentin Ivanov, showed him a peculiar result. A newly discovered nearby star with a lengthy catalog designation, later nicknamed for its discovery, Ralph Dieter Schultz, seemed almost to be sitting still. Most stars move perceptibly across the sky over the course of the year, as measured in a unit called arc seconds. In terms of such sideways motions, this one hardly moved at all, and yet the star was only 22 light years away, quite near to us by galactic standards. Mamajek knew that could mean only one thing. Either the star was heading straight for us, or it was heading directly away from us. In this case, the astronomers had obtained measurements of the star's Doppler shift. The reddening of light of, of a star is moving away, or a shift towards blue if it's moving towards us. It was screaming away at 80 kilometers per second, Mamajek recalls, and it did not take him long to do the math. In less than 15 minutes, we figured out that this star had passed within a light year of the solar system 70 or 80,000 years ago, he said. The closest stars to our sun today are the three in the Alpha Centauri system, about four light years away. But if there were a star one light year away, that could very well approach or even intersect with the outermost edge of our Oort cloud. Mamajek thinks that the Schultz star, now known as a star that came closest to our solar system, could eventually lose that title 
extremely precise data from the European Space Agency's New Gaia space probe will likely reveal more near misses, possibly closer ones. And in any case, another close pass by a star known as GJ7180 is due in about 1.3 million years. Um, I, I didn't even know this. We have another close by grazing of our solar system by GJ710 in 1.3 million years. For now, however, Scholz keeps its surprise. And might those rock hammering spear shaped early humans have caught a glimpse of the star passing by? It turns out not terribly likely. Scholz's star is a red dwarf, the smallest and faintest kind of star we know, even at its nearest point, about 55,000 astronomical units from our sun, that's 5.1 trillion miles, Scholz's star would have been 100 times too dim to see with the naked eye. Still, there's a chance the visitor made itself known. Red dwarfs are known particularly to emit extremely bright flares. If the star sent up a flare as it was cruising past our solar system, our cave-dwelling ancestors just might have seen it. This is from Pat Brennan, Exoplanet Exploration. It's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.